Hello everyone, my name is Jay, and I apologize in advance because uh, I'm sick currently, so if I sound stuffed up or if I'm coughing, that's why. So, this is the Tiger Shark. This is my Elite Alpha Trooper. As you can see, uh, the paint job has lasted pretty well. It's got a little bit of dirt and scuffs on it from uh, our HVZ at our campus lodge, but uh, the paint job has held up really well. But I got a hold of this, and this is the Unleashed Solid Stage Kit, Stage 1, for the Elite Alpha Trooper, and it comes in this cute little box, and it's really cute. Um, so I'm just gonna go and open it up and just dump the contents out here and show you what comes with it. Uh, Alright, so it comes with the metal trigger catch, double strength, two double strength springs, two stickers, and the metal reinforcement plate, and a five kilogram spring, which I already have in this. And this is actually the first time I'm opening this up since painting this. So I'm just going to go and open it up now and, and we'll see how the plunger rod is held up to just using the 5 kilogram spring. Um, I'm hoping it's not broken. That would suck. But um, the other thing that I believe is a problem is that the paint is thick in this area and it's actually stuck on. So I'm actually going to go off camera and get this apart because uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass. But, okay, I will be back in a moment. Okay, so after some finagling, I finally got my Alpha Trooper open. Um, and as you can see, I don't think I clear-coated the inside when I painted this. So it's gotten a little gunked up. And, and that, I mean, it still functions fine, but it doesn't look that pleasant. So I'm going to remove the parts that are going to be replaced, which is the trigger catch and trigger catch spring and replace it with the metal trigger catch and trigger catch spring. Actually though, what I'm gonna do first is take this off and kind of inspect the plunger to plunger rod. And it seems like it's still working just fine, which is good. That's really good. I'm actually going to re-lube up the, <coughs> this particular O-ring though because it is lacking in lubrication, so going to quickly lube that up. Do, 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 That should be good. Alright. So, what you do is you replace the trigger catch and trigger catch spring with the metal version. And this thing is hefty. This is the thing that I love about Orange Mod Works parts is that they're just these really robust drop-in components and they're really great if you're just starting out modifying your blaster and you just want something easy to do to give it that extra boost in power. Now I've taken all the locks out of mine. Everything's gone. All the locks are gone. I don't have a forward prime lock. I don't have a mid prime lock. I have nothing and I love it that way. It's really nice. Uh, but honestly that's all up to your own personal preference. But that's all you have to do internally. So. I'm going to put the other half of the shell back on and put the reinforcement plate back on and kind of give you a little review of it. One quick thing I wanted to mention here is uh, the difference between the older iterations of the 5 kilogram spring versus the newer iterations. This, the older one, is like an eighth to a quarter of an inch shorter than the newer one, which is interesting. Um, I'm going to stick with the older one because that's one I know works. So that way I don't think I'll have any problems. But, um, you know, it's easy. It's really easy to put the spring in after you close the shell because you can just kind of screw it in with your fingers and just be careful of that edge there. You know, just kind of maneuver everything in until it pops in place, which is nice. Then you can, you know, test it and everything without having to screw everything back in, which I recommend doing anyways. Make sure you test everything before you screw everything back together because it's a pain in the ass to try and, and test something with all the screws together. You find out something's not working right, then you have to unscrew the entire blaster again. So that sucks. The other thing I wanted to mention is that these reinforcement plates go, are very specific. They only go in a certain way. and. Wow, that was the first time I've ever gotten that right on the first try. So, uh, kudos to me, I guess. 
but that's how they go in and they go in right there and they just you know reinforce the back part here which is really nice so yeah i'm gonna put it back together and give it a test fire all right guys so here it is all done and i have to say right out of the bat the prime is nice i just love the sound of that uh, of when you're when you're connecting with that metal uh metal trigger catch excuse me i can't speak today i'm I'm sick, so my brain is like... So, let's try it out. And that's that. I mean, I, I already love the Elite Alpha Trooper. I love the regular Alpha Trooper. <coughs> Excuse me. The only thing that I don't really like is how flimsy the trigger feels, and I really want to get a metal trigger for this because I just love the feel of the Orange Modworks metal triggers. But this is a great starter kit uh, for those of you who are just getting into modifying or are just looking for a way to beef up your Alpha Trooper. And I love the fact, what I love about metal components is not just that they're, they're durable, but they give your blaster some weight, and I love having a heavy blaster. I just love it, it. It gives it a more realistic feel and it just is, it feels really cool. And I'm excited to see what else Orange Modworks has in store for the Elite Alpha Trooper. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping some sort of sealed breach system uh, comes out from them because I would hop on board with that in a heartbeat. Oh, I love, I love the Elite Alpha Trooper. It is my primary most of the time. Um, it's just a versatile blaster and this just adds to the versatility and, and just makes it more powerful and more reliable. And uh, so I highly recommend this. I'll, put a, I'll post a link to it in the description below. As always, uh, check out my Facebook page. Give me a like on Facebook so you can keep up with stuff that I'm doing. There will be a new Fun Stuff with Jay and Dan segment soon. Hopefully, finals week is coming up. So we'll see how that goes. But um, actually, there are going to be two. There's going to be one of me and Dan doing something uh, aquatic. So that'll be fun, and I'll be editing that soon, getting that together. But, <coughs> excuse me, as always, if you like what you see, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos. And uh, congratulations to William Guerrero, by the way. Uh, he received the, uh, the Maverick that I painted. I really can't think today. Oh, my God. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember, mod at your own risk, mod can potentially damage the internals of the blaster and shorten the lifespan of it. Do so with that in mind, and at your own risk, I'm not responsible for you damaging or breaking your blaster. So don't blame me. Bye.